This is problem number two from section 3.6. And this problem it says write the function in the form y equals f of u and u equals g of x, then find dy over dx as a function of x. They give us y equals e to the negative 11x. We have actually found derivatives of functions like this. And we've used the chain rule, but we didn't really know that we were using the chain rule. So we're going to make this all make sense now by using the chain rule here. So the outside function is just, so y equals f of u. The outside function is going to be y equals e to the u, where u is the inside function. u is equal to g of x, so we're going to say u equals negative 11x. So we have two different functions here that we're going to take the derivative of. And we're going to do that using the chain rule. So I'm going to pull out the chain rule here. I'm also going to pull out the derivatives of exponentials that we've talked about. And if you notice here, well, if we look at the top one, we know the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. That's something that's been defined. These other ones I defined during class because we needed them, but these were actually using the chain rule that you're going to see right here. So how do we find the derivative of this? Well, we're going to do the, because we have a function inside of a function, right? A function up here, negative 11x, inside of the function e to the x. We start by doing the derivative of the outside, which is just going to be derivative of e to the x, right? e to the u. So the derivative of e to the x is just going to be itself. So this is just e to the negative 11x times, so that's the derivative of the outside function, times, the, what's the derivative of the inside function? Well, the derivative of a negative 11x is negative 11. And so you end up with negative 11 e to the negative 11x. Now let's compare that to what we've been doing this whole time e to the 2x, that's actually a function inside of a function. So we do the derivative of the outside, which will just be e to the 2x, and then the derivative of the inside, which is 2, and we multiply them. That's the chain rule, right? It says take derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside function. So all of these things that we've been doing with our base e exponentials, uh, we've, been, we've been actually using the chain rule, and we just didn't know it. So this is the solution, or this is the derivative, I should say, for e to the negative 11x. You do the derivative of the outside, which was e to the negative 11x, times derivative of the inside, which was just negative 11.